Hello all, I am Luke the Super Tramp, and here today we are introducing to you, the viewer, a brand new show on this channel that is entitled, So You're Interested In. This new show is a way to introduce you to new artists, artists that you might have heard of before, artists that you've absolutely never heard of before, or maybe an artist that you know of but kind of fell off of. And to me, there's no better first artist to start off with than Mr. MF Doom. MF Doom is just one of the many nicknames that Daniel Dumoulet has given himself over the years. Dumoulet was born in the UK but raised in Long Island, even though he has actually never gained his US citizenship. MF Doom is an underground hip-hop artist who has an expansively large discography, being featured on so many tracks, having so many tracks of his own, and also collaborating with many other producers and other rappers as well. You might recognize Doom for having his famous mask on his face, which is something that he rarely ever takes off. So to get into this new show, I'm going to take two to three albums and two to three tracks that I think would be a great way to introduce you to MF Doom or whatever artist that we have at hand. So to kick things off, we're going to go with this album right here, M Food. M Food is MF Doom's second studio album, or second-ish, he has like... A million, it's kind of hard to tell. This is, at least in my opinion, MF Doom's best solo material. It is his greatest concept yet following all in the idea of food and food related things. On top of that featuring the super villainous alter ego that MF Doom has given himself. So taking this concept that MF Doom has come up with as well as his brilliant lyricism, the super tight beats, as well as a fantastic use of samples and you've got yourself mm, food. This album was almost solely produced by MF Doom, however, he does gain some help from some different collab artists throughout the album. To kick things off off this album, I'm going to talk about Ho Cakes. Ho Cakes is probably one of my favorite MF Doom songs to ever come out, mostly because it is extremely witty, quick paced. The sampling is fantastic with that after when he starts rapping in the very beginning. The production on this boom bap rap type style is extremely well done. And overall, it is just a very fun track to listen to. Moving on from Ho Cakes, the next track that I would like to talk about is One Beer being produced by Mad Lib. We'll get a little bit deeper into Mad Lib here a little bit later. Once again, One Beer is a very dense, compact, and tight song featuring lyrics of MF Doom basically coming at other rappers that are in the mainstream saying that, yeah, he makes better stuff than them for most parts. One Beer is definitely a highlight off this album, however, most of the tracks on this thing are fantastic, so it's totally worth a listen to. It will not disappoint you through and through. Even the skits are actually really darn funny. So I said that we'd get back to Mad Lib, and here we are yet again with Mad Villainy. Mad Villainy was an album that came out in 2004 that was created by MF Doom and Mad Lib coming together to form Mad Villain. Mad Villainy has received incredibly high praise, being ranked as one of the best albums of the decade. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best produced rap albums ever. Intriguing lyrics being mixed in with uncommon flows all on top of this over-your-shoulder, bearing beats. This album is just a masterpiece. Great tracks that come off this include Meat Grinder. Meat Grinder has this very recognizable beat behind it, the bum bum. And these dripping lyrics that just overflow on top of the song. And a little bit of a switch up from that would be Figaro, which is a very easy but dense and compact and layered beat on top of this super silky smooth flow. So yeah, Mad Villainy is totally worth a listen to if you've never heard it before. It is still touted by me, by many other people, as one of the best hip-hop albums of all time, period. Now to get into a couple of tracks. Dumoulet has taken many monikers aside from just MF Doom itself. And the song that I would like to talk to you about is by Dumoulet, but underneath the nickname Victor Vaughn. Saliva is the track and it is off of the Vaudeville Villain album. Saliva has this simplistic beat with rapid flows just coming at you constantly. It also makes use of this fantastically strong horn section that appears and fades out as the song moves on. Overall, a very well constructed, easy to listen to, and fun track. The next track that I'd like to talk to you about is a feature that MF Doom did on this album right here, Wildflower by the Avalanches. He did a feature on the track Frankie Sinatra, which is one of the singles off this album, which also featured Danny Brown. 
Danny comes in and lays down these hilariously funny verses, while MF Doom just seems cool, calm, and collected. This might not be the absolute best verse that MF Doom has ever done, and I will totally agree with that, but at the exact same time, it's a switch up from his normal stuff. The song is very danceable, it has these fantastic samples on top of them, as the avalanches are known for doing. And I just think that MF Doom adds a great facet to this song. The final track that I'd like to talk to you about comes off the Danger Doom album. Danger Doom is a collaborative effort between MF Doom and Danger Mouse of Gnarls Barkley fame. The track is The Mask, which features Ghostface Killer, most notably of Wu-Tang Clan fame. Doom and Ghostface just go back to back to back to back, laying down super hard verses all on top of each other unrelentingly. In similar fashion to Um Food over here, the production style on this track is dense, layered, compact, with bouncing horns coming in and out. Overall, it's probably one of the more MF Doom sounding songs that has ever come out of his collaborative projects, aside from Mad Villainy. All of the tracks and all of the albums that I've talked about here will be linked in the description below, so please feel free to check them out. And while you're down there, write a comment about which artist you'd like to see next on this show. And speaking of this show, I will be adding new shows and series to this channel as time goes on, just slowly kind of getting into it here. So yeah, MF Doom, go check him out, subscribe for more. Come back around, watch a forever spinning episode here or there, or leave and never come back. I guess, I guess you could do that too. So whether you've never heard this artist before, or if he is a personal favorite of yours, like he is for me, MF Doom will always stay forever spinning in my heart. Happy listening.